All right. So right now we are going to create and customize lightning apps. So what are lightning apps? I'm just going to show you by going to the trailhead playground and I'll show you a bit and then afterwards you can read um, on your own the explanation here and it will make sense okay so let's write um, go right ahead to the playground click on your profile click hands on orgs I'm gonna pop this up on a new tab and I'm gonna click here my playground so um, how do you access the apps just like on your phone right it it's accessible through here you know apps on your phone right what is apps on your phone do well each apps on your phone do a particular thing there is an app for calling there is an app for games and there are particular games there is an app for pretty much everything right same thing with salesforce with apps uh, what it does is it's creating a customizable everything so people can better use the platform and the interface according to what they do right for example a doctor logs in or um, a, vet, a vet you know a, a pet doctor logs in and he or she wants to see different things um, they want to see the patients or the pet names uh, their pet history and so on and so forth if a teacher logs into their salesforce org um, the teacher wants to see different things the teacher wants to see the students um, what's the what's the scheduled classes for today that he or she have to teach and what's the homework assignments um, she or he gave to the students and and so on and so forth so an app which you can build um, will help whoever is logged in to salesforce to do their task their work whatever they need to do faster and exactly to be to be able to do what they they want to do that's pretty much it so it's not general where you can see everything like right now you can see pretty much um, everything here right it's all over the place so let's give an example let's um, make a new app so when you make a new app it will show here right and you can click on it and it will load all the necessary menus and everything um, we want the user to see okay enough talk let's start doing one so in this particular trail there is a, a walkthrough that we can go follow along here um, let's go oh, where is the walkthrough I missed it here create a lightning app okay so go to the app manager and new lightning app this is how we can create a new app so the best way to know how an app work is to create a new one therefore you would know what what kind of things you can do with an with an app okay so how do you access the app manager it's always from the setup menu here when you start to create stuff you want to make stuff or edit stuff or customize stuff it's always from the setup menu so here search for app manager oops yeah app there's too many p's there app manager and then here i'm going to create a new app new lightning app okay this one so what are we going to name the app let's go back to our follow along here so the app name is energy consultations remember what i said try to not copy and paste things as you type it will register more information in your brain okay energy 
consultations, right? Description, track energy audits and product recommendations, okay? Track energy audits and product recommendation. And leave the developer name itself. You don't have to fill this out. It's going automatically. Whenever you type something here and you just tab over it, see, it changes. It helps you out to create a developer name. So don't worry about it. So upload an image for the app. I'm going to choose something that I've just saved from the internet. Um, it's called Lightning Bolt that it, or Lightning Icon. There it is. Okay, upload that guy. Nice, see? And then it says to primary hex color value FA8BO5. Okay? So FA8B05. Nice, it kind of matches, right? Let's go back and see um, utility items don't add any navigation items so home chatter groups energy audits okay let's go next first here next standard navigation uh, i'm gonna do both so it will look it will load uh, both on a computer and your phone okay i'm gonna have standard navigation um, I'm going to leave this as it is. It doesn't say here, right? Personalization settings. Uh, let's see. Just leave at is as is. I'm going to next. We don't want to add utility item for now. Next. Here we go. So this will be the menus that will appear here on the top, like here, on the top here, right? So we want to... Uh, limit the menu so the user who are logging in is not confused what there is so many stuff going on there so we're just going to limit that will be usable for the user all right so in this case we want to add home chatter groups energy audits so you can search here home at that oops chatter groups energy audits and then accounts context product task accounts context products and do you remember task okay okay that's that's it and next available profiles so who can load this app is is it available for everybody so you can choose if you are um, an administrator at a school you can choose oh um, the one who can access this app is just the teachers so students cannot load this app or just principles or if you're running on um, a pet shop just the vets can access this particular app or and so on and so forth right so right now we're just gonna have system administrator which is basically you and finish that's it now we have a new app which we can access from this tab here. What is it called again? Energy consultations with our cool icon here. Bam! Cool, right? So see, the menu is home, chatter groups, energy audits, accounts, contacts, products, and tasks. And you have the cool lightning and you have the color orange here which is this color, which we define on the app. That color is this color. So all the records 
will have this kind of tab so you know you're actually viewing this energy consultation records so that's not all you can do you can change what um, ever it shows on the home page and so on and so forth but you can pretty much do and customize anything you want to customize here so let's go back here and see what else can we do we have created a new app and some tips um, you can read this off on your own and that's pretty much it let's do the quiz together so what is a key benefit of lightning apps for your users right users can create records and access recent records and list directly from the navigation bar it's easy to switch contacts with the app launcher lightning app give you user access to the items objects and pages they need most so this is the answer so not all of the above is kind of a um, trick question it's kind of trick question right so this is the answer what can you include in lightning apps trailhead modules you can't do that custom sound effects flashing text i don't think you can do that web tabs standard and custom objects and, and utility features like lightning voice yes yeah you can add this you can't you cannot have those for sure what's a good way to optimize an app for your users right brand the app with a, an animated gif and neon colors that's cheesy <laughs> that's annoying put the highest priority objects and tabs first in the navigation menu have a developer code in in a sad trombone sound effect whoa that's crazy at every object in the org no we want the highest priority object and tabs first in the navigation menu high priority objects here on the navigation menu right so it's helpful for the user so that's pretty much it i think we're gonna score 100 here whoops we got one wrong what's a key benefit of lightning apps for your users huh. maybe it's all of the above right you just can create records and access recent records yeah it's easy to switch contacts with the app launcher yeah that makes sense because you can actually switch between apps here so the question is you what is the advantage of the apps right you can switch between apps here so it's easier so we miss one but we still get 50 points bam there we go so read on and let's go and tackle the next unit see you on the next one